if you want to see and learn how to tie some effective knots easily, stay tuned. If we want to have a line under tension in order to hold a weight, for example the corner of a tarp, we use a round turn and two half hitches. We go around the object we want to pull on and pull it to the required height. Then we hold it and make a loop around the rope. And pull it tight. We then make a loop around the rope and pull it tight. This will hold the object in place. The round turn and two half hitches still works with very slippy cordage and ropes. If we use a figure of eight to create a loop and we use it with the round turn we can increase mechanical advantage and thus lift heavier weights more easily. And then once again tie it off with a half hitch and another half hitch to lock it off. By thinking outside the box and combining knots, like here where we've used the double fisherman's knot on our water bottle, we can increase our effectiveness in the field. The Marlin spike hitch is usually made with a single piece of rope. However, if you double it over, you can still make the Marlin spike hitch, but take it down very easily. We start by putting a doubled over rope around the tree and pulling it through into a lark's head. We then make a loop around our hand and pull the rope behind through. We then put in a spike and we have the marling spike hitch. We can then put the stick through the handle of our rucksack. To take the knot down we take out the stick which we're using as a marling spike, grab the head of the lark's head, pull the rope through and pull it off the tree. We start off our clove hitch in the ordinary way. Around, over and get ready to put it through. Instead of putting through a single piece of rope, we put it through doubled. We can pull as hard as we like on the long standing end, but if we pull the short end that's been doubled over, the knot comes undone very easily. We can put a stick or a tent peg in the folded over loop so it won't pull out by accident. So get out there. Get training. You know it makes sense. It'll serve you well.